climb, 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 climb. Uh, I wonder if you're like really good at this. You can climb like the wind or something. That would be cool. Because obviously I'm I'm pretty new to this. I don't know if I'm climbing the, the most efficient matter. Engage with A while jumping. You have enough power for minimal thrust. Ooh. Ah, we have a jetpack. That's really not effective. But you know, it is minimal thrust. Very minimal thrust that we've got going on over here. Not the most helpful version of thrust at all. But you know. We're, we're learning new things. I want to get to that mushroom, but there's a, this shiny rock here, and I want to simultaneously get new things. Plus, we're underneath a waterfall now. And he doesn't seem to have any problems being underneath a waterfall, so we might as well see if there's a way to get in there. Maybe it's like a really small stream of water, I suppose. And it's hiding a gem. It does... Oh, no, we might be able to run under this. The geology of this planet is rather remarkable. Get it. I need to be at 40% for the next ability? That's gonna take years! Where's Warble? I got an achievement, and I'm not sure what it means. But there's gems here, and I want them. We found a secret cave. We found this bird thing. Hello. The last time I found a small pet animal to take along with me, things went a bit bad. Uh, but you have cute eyes, though. Although the sheep had pretty cute eyes as well, so there's that as to consider. But I think... I think we have a friend in, in in this little bird. Come on, little bird. Oh, we can actually jump with them as well. Ooh. We're floating. I'm making the bird a floaty bird. Do you enjoy floating, bird? Because I could let you go and have you have a good, like, floaty time on your own. I think... I think the bird would enjoy that. Bird. Let's go. Good job. Look, he's flying. And I actually got an achievement for that as well. You're just... Like, swimming in achievement. I didn't even know this game had achievements, but there you go. Apparently it does. I don't think I'm gonna bother with anything else here, but... I'm gonna grab that thing. Because I want it. Jetpack! God, that, that jetpack is just useless. <laughs> it is not helping me get anywhere. It is the most minimal of minimal thrust. What are you saying there, bud? You're making a lot of noises there. I'm not sure what any of those mean. I guess maybe when you jump and then immediately use a jetpack, it might be a little bit more effective, but... I don't know, man. It seems a little bit lackluster. I feel like there have been better jetpacks in in our history of the world. Even in this world. This fictional world of a new game. Had better jetpack. Oh, God, please. Like, let's try it while we're still, like, going up from the jump. Yeah. Yeah, that does seem to work a little bit better, but... Yeah, I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed in your jetpack. And I'm very angry. I'll give your jetpack a 2 out of 10 at most. But at least it's recharging. That's why it gets... I'm gonna give it a 3. It's a recharging jetpack. You don't need to get fuel for it. It just sort of inexplicably works. And I guess in that sense, I should be pretty grateful for what we got. I mean, you just gave me a cave full of gems to collect, so there's that as well. I do like collecting, and you give me a very clear number of things to collect in this game. I assume... Well, maybe there's exactly 100, maybe there's slightly more in case you're missing out on some, but still want to get, like, all the various abilities and things. Maybe you don't need to get exactly 100% by getting exactly 100 gems. I don't know. I suppose we'll see about that as we progress through the game. I don't really know how to get to, uh... Oh, wait! We can just climb the ceiling, because we're, like, super robot climber man, and can do whatever our little robot friend wants to do. And can climb to places that no man has, no man has ever been able to climb to before. Look at that. We got this. We can go. We <laughs> gotta make sure I'm actually grabbing onto the thing, otherwise I'm gonna be very sad when I accidentally fall down. Obviously, I could just use my fall flower, but I'm not sure if that like, dissipates the more I use it and not get a new one, so... I'd rather just do it like this. Come on. Almost. Get it. Yay! Alright, what else is there? There's at least a couple more gems over here to get. There's one over there, which is like... Eh, it's not too far away. I guess we could go for that one now. Uh, I'm actually just gonna... Please go! I'm dissipating my fall thing, but it's... For the sake of being somewhat lazy and wanting to get everything over here. There we go. 
All right, so there's one over there. I, I, I'm pretty sure there was another one on, on this particular location area thing. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna. Yeah, I think this is probably the better way of going there. That is pretty much on the other side of the cave. That is not somewhere I want to climb all the way around. No, grab it. At least uh, you can just hold out both of your arms and hopefully one of them is going to grab the thing that you want to grab onto. Oh yeah, I can climb Mission Impossible style. I need to remember that as well. Alright, so where was the last one? I can hear it, I think. I'm just gonna, like, fall. <laughs> we can probably see it from somewhere down here, maybe. I'm stuck underneath the flower! Alright. At least if anything, like, if everything goes completely wrong, we can always- we have a self-destruct button, so we got that going for us. That's probably gonna be useful every now and then when we get completely stuck. So that's nice. Alright, so where's that final gem? I saw it a, a while ago, and now I've lost it. But I can just follow the sound of my ears. Although it's not really the ears that are making the sound, I suppose. But it's it's the ears that are hearing it. But that might, that might also be on the outside, I suppose. Maybe I'm imagining it. Maybe there wasn't another one. Which is also entirely possible, I suppose. Let's jump on these rocks. We got the power. No, 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 no. Game's hard, man. It's probably the hardest game I've ever played, by far. When it comes to jumping on things in a very specific manner. Yeah, I don't really know where I want to go. Like, there's various places which seem very accessible right now, but I'm not sure if I want to particularly visit any specific one over here. So I guess we could just go to the outside over here. Grab that. And, like, there's an exit over there, there's an exit over here. I guess we'll just go through this one. Get that rock out of the way. Jetpack away. Jetpack away! Oh, alright, didn't mean to move the rock forward, but I guess we could just move it out of the way that way as well. Whatever works. What is making that jemmy noise? Something's being jemmy, and I can hear it loudly, constantly. And yeah, there are still some gems on the outside of this thing as well. A lot of gems over here. Probably do actually want you to get that 40% before you completely leave this area or something like that. Wonder if it's gonna be necessary to actually get 100, though. That is one of the things that's constantly on my mind. Maybe we're gonna get 100% before we even, like, leave this... this island. I simultaneously just really want to climb this mushroom, because it's a mushroom. Oh boy, the mushroom's a little bit... Wait, the dependent or whatever though. Can we like sort of have our arm in a place? Please grab something like that. There we go. Go mount your friend style. And somehow grab on to the outside with that arm. There we go. We can climb this. We got this. We're Spider-Man. We're Butterman or whatever. Butterman sounds like a man made of butter, I suppose. But still, it's it's some sort of person who is somewhat capable of climbing onto things with his sticky, sticky arms. There is a gem down there. Oh, hey, look at that! I didn't even know that the mushroom was gonna do that, but it worked out, I suppose. Because I know there's a gem up here as well, and I might as well just grab this one first. And then just jump down. Look at that, there it is. I love this, though. <laughs> Any game that lets me climb is great, but any game that actually makes it somewhat easy to climb as well and lets you climb onto anything, that's just... It's perfect. That's just perfection in a video game for me right there. Um, alright. Grab onto that. I'm pretty sure I could see it from over here. There it is, yeah. Alright, so we're just gonna go for it. Oh man, that, the jetpack is really good for speed though, for like horizontal jumping right there. That got us pretty far. Pretty sure that got me further than by just jumping normally, so that's pretty neat. I want you. Is this really the only way to get it? I don't know. I mean, eventually we, we would have to climb there anyway. Because I'm pretty sure. But I wonder if there's like a rock or something which has like an exit out of there. There we go. Can be a little bit tricky sometimes to actually grab onto them, but we're managing. Let's see. Where do I want to go from this point? Is there 
an area which I can reach. I think there's like an area I can reach above me right now. So we're just gonna casually ascend this wall and pretend that this is what normal people do to get to new place. No. Oh, hey, Jim. Meant to do that. Uh, this is how I explore the rocks. That extra camera angle really helping me out. I'm pretty sure a butterfly just grew out of me there, which is entirely possible. Uh, on account with what just happened, so there's that as well. I guess I could probably use like my right stick to zoom out thing as well. I'm in some trouble actually choosing. Like I actually need to actively look at things that I'm wanting to grab, and I, that's. It seems like it doesn't always work for me. <laughs> uh, is there a gem or is that a cloud? It's kind of hard to tell. Let's zoom out a bit. Yeah, this is actually a really useful ability because now we can see that thing over there. And mom's telling us we're doing a good job. It's kind of nice to just get constant positive reinforcement from a mysterious robot that's called mom. It's, uh, quite nice. And it makes us feel like we're doing a good job. Isn't that right, bud? I think bud thinks so as well. If bud had thoughts, he would probably agree with me. And, uh, if he, if he doesn't have thoughts, which is fairly likely, then, uh... I hope that one day, when he does grow thoughts, he will know that he did a good job. Anything else over here? Anything else in this particular area? I can hear them. But that doesn't really mean anything. Like, we can, like, sort of climb like this, and in the video, you'll just basically be able to see nothing because it's way too far zoomed out. But it does give us a little bit more of a view than with, like, just rocks in our face constantly, so that's also quite nice. Definitely something to consider in that regard. And we're just slowly climbing our way upwards. Let's, uh, oh, I tried to mission impossible it, and instead I just fell. <laughs> that didn't work out at all. I guess we do actually need to have a rock not being straight above our face to try and do that stuff. Is that just a gem lying there? I just missed entirely. Oh, yeah, I never actually reached these mushrooms. Actually, I think I'm, like, oh. Fungus, look at the beautiful festering molds. Yeah, beautiful. Oh, God. Why did you give me a cutscene game? That was such an awkward time to give me a cutscene, given the fact that I was sort of climbing, and then I let go of the triggers and forgot which trigger I was holding, and then I fell down, and there's a gem over there, which I missed now, and I'm sad. But we can rectify that, I think. Uh, yeah, this is a bit awkward. It's like, I don't even know where it is anymore. We're just gonna go somewhere. Let's, uh, let's get back on a plant over here. Let's go back to the outside. Zoom it out a bit. Oh, wait, what's that? Is that a gem? That's not a gem, is it? No, that's, that's just a plant. That's just a plant. This is, I'm pretty sure, where we were at when we originally started climbing the thing. So at least we're sort of, we're, uh, getting, like, sort of an idea where we are again, at least. So there's, it's good. Everything's good. Everything's fine. I know what I'm doing. Bud's just having a good time trying to figure out his surroundings is all. I'm actually not even playing the game. I'm just looking at this little robot and uh, giving him positive reinforcement through the sound of my voice. And the robot's listening to me, and he's like, all right, I think I'm doing the right thing. Let's keep climbing. That's what he seems to want me to do. And I'm just nodding and smiling and being like, yep, that's right, my son. You're doing the right thing by climbing up these hill climbs. And everyone lived happily. Never after. Can we use this mushroom to, like, jump up really far, really fast? That would be cool. Uh, okay. Uh, well, we do go up. And... Uh, it does, uh... Seem that the jetpack is fairly affected by how far, like, how... Fast you're currently going anyway. Like, if you're going up really fast then it seems to work a little bit better than when you're just barely going up at all. It just seems to, like, use some sort of mathematical formula to exponentially make you go faster or something like that. One might call it that, maybe. All right, let's just try not to fall down anymore. I just want to get that gem that's next to those cursed mushrooms over there. Clearly they're cursed, because so far we've had a cutscene that made, it, made us fall down. We've had just a random thing make us fall down. The game does not want me, want me to grab this gem over here, but we can manage. We can manage. There we go. 
Look at how it illuminates the land. And look at how our robot doesn't care about any of that and just takes it anyway. Robot just wants to recharge, that's all. You don't care about no lights, it's light enough in here. It's always sunny in whatever land this is. It wouldn't surprise me if there's no day-night cycle in this game, because why would there be? That would sort of ruin the lighting effects in this game. What's that big shadow above me right now? Why is there currently a big shadow that's sort of looming above me more and more? Is that a cloud? I'm hoping it's a cloud. Let's hope it's a cloud. Uh... I mean, that's an island, but I can't really... Where was that shadow coming from? That was a big shadow that came out of nowhere there. I don't know. Maybe there's like a mushroom looming above me or something. I'm liking the word loom right now. It's really, like, helping me pick my words. Just use the word loom repeatedly. And it'll sound like a sentence of a very intelligent man. Truly. Get that. We're getting to that 40%. Five more to go. We're gonna get there. We will fly. We will swim. Well, we won't swim. But we will fly. And we will find these gems. Using the magic of zooming out slightly and falling down really far by accident repeatedly. A bunch of tiny mushrooms over there. Kind of cute, but not going to touch them. Those mushrooms will remain untouched. And, yeah, I think I'm just going to climb to that little red flower over there and make it zoom into a thing. There's a gem in the back over there. Need to remember that in that little archway. That's a pretty obvious one, so I think we could... There's actually just still a fair, a fair amount of gems just sort of hanging out over here, so we can probably... Remember that does exist. I'm sort of stuck in the plant, but that's fine. That's fine. We're getting there. Slowly but surely, we're going to have another zoomy day. Where are we actually going to go, though? Oh, there's a lot up there. Can we go all the way up there, though? Surely not. I don't know about this. Oh, God. How do these controls work sometimes? Okay, there we go. Left analog. I was using the right one. That's why it didn't really work out very well. But it worked out now. I I feel like that one's t way too far away, but... Well, we're just gonna let our little... I think I've reached... Okay, yeah, that's a problem. Uh, this, this is an issue <laughs> that I have to deal with right now. I have made mistakes in my life. And now I have to suffer the consequences. Where would this one actually have to go, though? Oh... You know what I said about the day-night cycle? <laughs> it's getting kind of dark in here. Do I need the sun to grow these plants even further? Oh, I guess I have to go to that one, maybe. On account that it's right there. It's kind of... It doesn't look like it actually has power in it, though. But I guess we could, like, try and reach that little island from here. I think that should be possible. I hope our fall leaf thing is still fully functional because... Oh, the, no! Careful. <laughs> Don't fall down now. <laughs> that would be a sad day in the life of little bud over here. Just grab on. And... Jump! There we oh god, that's not full at all. <sighs> okay, everything's okay. All according to plan. This was my plan. It was. Shut up. It was. And there's gems over there, so it was a good plan. Look at this little secret island thing over here. Not really secret, I suppose, but it it was sort of hidden. And we had to reach it using one of those planty things, so... Ah! All in all, worked out exactly as I planned it, if I had a plan. And that's good enough for me. Is there a gem down there that I missed, or is that like the teleporty thingy? I think that might actually just be the teleporty thingy. Which I haven't actually used yet outside of that one time where I just died completely on purpose. Because everything I do is part of someone's plan. I just haven't quite figured out <laughs> whose plans I'm following. But other than that, it's going peachy. I want to go all the way up, though. It goes up so high as well. Like, how long? I mean, 2,000 meters is pretty high, I suppose. But still, 2,000 meters. It just seems shorter at first, you know? Oh, my God, we were gliding over the thing. That was so cool. Oh, that was amazing. And again, totally intentional, all of that, what just happened. I'm going to activate that teleporter before I fall down all the way and ruin everything for everyone forever. Because that would be a sad day. I don't want to be that sad. I, that would be a lot of sadness to take in right there. Let's activate this real quick, like... There we go. 
This one only required two. Come on, we got this. Come on, bud. Use them arms. You've been training for this your whole life, probably. I, I, I don't really know what the rest of your life has been up to this, leading up to this point, I suppose, but I'm gonna presume that that is what, we, what was going on. Sheep. Sheep. Oh, the sheep's not entirely stupid. I mean, I was trying to just sort of lead it off of the cliff, but it didn't. This sheep has brains. This is not this, the first sheep that has roamed these lands, I feel. I, I think he's seen another sheep. And then he was like, maybe that sheep doesn't really know what it's doing. Because sheep are known to not follow other sheep, you see. that That's what they're known for. Sheep are known to not follow other sheep. That may seem like they have some sort of leading potential. I may have just squashed a sheep with a rock. I'm hoping that didn't happen. Our robot's making weird noises again, but I'm just gonna leave. Let it... Oh boy. When our robot charge... I mean, I think I would probably make weird noises as well if I just found a random battery in a wall and decided to eat it. So, that's also something I have to consider in these... these times. <laughs> Get me that. Come on, look at how he's trying! Oh no! It worked out though. Alright, so where was the other one? I'm, I'm pretty sure I saw another one. There's one over there. There we go. Is there anything over here? We can probably zoom out on, th on the top of this mountain, probably. Oh, hey! There's one on top of this mountain. I mean, I totally saw that. I was going for the... Meh. Lies. Everything I say is a lie. Constant stream of lies coming out of my face. I mean, there is that one gem over there. Oh, don't fall down now. Gotta remember to actually grab onto things when I'm just looking around mindlessly, I suppose, but... Alright, let's do it! Get that gem over there, reach up 40%! Meow, 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 meow. And drop it! This is the strategy of someone who is well-versed in falling down and surviving. Engage with A while jumping! Rocket pack is now slightly better! <laughs> That's not as exciting of a mil an ability than a that I hope for. I mean, we got, like, a jetpack, and now we got slightly better jetpack immediately after. Well, I mean, it does get us quite high up in the sky, I suppose, but still, it w I mean, I think I would have preferred to get another ability first than just jetpack again. Right after just the jetpack, so to, you know. Maybe I'm just being ungrateful. That's entirely possible. I think I probably am, actually. Get that. Press X to grow. What? Okay. Uh, mm, that one. I have decided that is the one on account that it's like right in front of my face. And that's probably the closest one. Come on. Grow that plant. Grow it. Yes. Star plant increased in size. We're like almost at a quarter now. In terms of plant size. Although, it, like, that number goes up fairly fast, so... Who knows how far we're actually in terms of, like, game progression. But I'm gonna assume there's another Jemmy Gem to pick up here. I feel it. I'm really feeling it. Here it is. Trying to hide, but we're too good of a robot. I wouldn't be surprised if 60 is just another, like... Sort of upgrade and then 100% just, like, changes you in, like, a different color or something. That it doesn't actually do anything and it is not required to get 100%. That's- that's my guess right now. Alright. Uh... Are there any other gems that I want or should I just try and... Make red plants fly into things? I think I'm just gonna make red plants... Fly into things, really. Ooh! I do have to remember that, like, extending it like this also makes just new roots and things appear. Look at that. Look at that jump! That was amazing! I'm incredible. Wow! Sometimes I do things that make me impressed by myself or something. Oh god. But then I press buttons and then everything gets horrible. I get so confused the moment I start pressing buttons again. Oh god, this inverted control scheme is so strange to me as well. Can I reach that? I'm gonna say... That's the sound I'm gonna use to describe my feelings about this endeavor, but... It worked out, sort of, somehow. Genuinely surprised by that, actually. I did not think that was gonna go that far, but it did. Look at that, we're already at 500-something. Our star plant is becoming the best star plant that has ever planted itself onto this particular set of soil. There we go. 
What else is here? Just one gem? One gem per floating island battery thing? This is the battery for a plant. This is what... This is what sus sustenance for plant. It's just called batteries for... It doesn't matter what, what it is. It can be a robot, it can be a plant, it can be just food. Everything's effectively a battery that we are extending to new lands. I do feel like we probably could just use those red plants forever, though, and just make a escape to Earth that way, but... I'm not gonna be a smart bottom about it, so I'm just gonna let it do its thing, I suppose. Let's grab that. And make it grow. Make it go and make it grow. I Like, every one of these that I'm making go to a new area, I feel like just every single time it's like, I don't think that's quite gonna reach, but... So far, I've been proven wrong once. Shall I be proven wrong uh, twice? It would be kind of awkward if I end up blocking my way using this. No! Why? Why? Why have you forsaken me, plant friend? I was not ready for such betrayal. But at least you grew another one. Like... Oh! Boy, yeah. At least, like, at least it grows another one. And I feel like if I could just, if I just go straight up using these red plants, I could just keep going. But I'm not sure if that's. I wouldn't be surprised if it just stopped after a while. So there's that as well. Uh, just sort of awkwardly gonna go around my already grown plant over here. We need to get on that rock over down there as well. That's gonna be a, an exciting adventure. Because if, if I fall down. While I'm on there, that's that's an issue. <laughs> that is something I'm gonna have to deal with, and I don't think that's something I really wish to deal with at all. That doesn't sound very like that doesn't sound like a lot of fun at all to me. That it sounds like I'm gonna be falling down. It sounds like I'm gonna be climbing up a lot. And climbing is exciting. Don't get me wrong, but climbing the same thing twice. That's when you get to the points where it's like I don't know, I don't know about this. All right. Can we do this with the swiftest of speeds? Because obviously, while it's a terrible idea to do this too hastily, simultaneously, I am very lazy. So, the faster we can do something, the better. Uh, strategy, yo. This is, this is what they had in mind when they thought about this climbing mechanic. Just falling down and then hoping you're gonna grab onto something, just like Jet Li did in that one movie where he falls down all those balconies but grabs onto each one every single time. It was at the start of the movie, I think, and I don't remember which one it was. It might have been the one. It might have not been. Jet Li was in a lot of movies back in my time. Is I mean, he doesn't really do anything at this point. Oh, well, he's in Expendables, I suppose, but I haven't really seen him in a movie in a really long time outside of Expendables at all. I'm just gonna go on random tangents now. Rather than talk about the game, because Jet Li, he was like in every movie back in in my life. He was like him and, and like DMX were there, just fighting crime and occasionally being crime, fighting other crime. But overall, they were fighting the bad guys, whoever the bad guys may have been at the time. Some, sometimes, sure, they rob a bank or whatever, but you know, they did it in a really cool way, and it, it made you go like, "Wow, that Jet Li guy sure does things." And then Denzel Washington, I believe, was there as well. There was, like, a whole group of people that... I mean, technically still exist, but I, I see them less and less. Although Denzel Washington is slowly becoming the next Morgan Freeman in certain ways. He is becoming old and wise. And is still capable of destroying everyone simultaneously. It's quite fun, actually, in that, le that one movie he was in. The Equalizer or whatever. I think that was what it was called. We're falling down, aren't we? Yeah, that's, that's a bit of an issue. I was just... Looking around, thinking about Denzel Washington, and here you are, just trying to throw me off cliffs. That's not acceptable. You can't do that. That's so mean. I'm just trying to think of Denzel Washington. That's all I'm trying to do here. Where's the remaining, like, plant batteries that we have to put these things in? Is the other one all the way over there? Seriously? Uh, I always get nervous when the petals drop off those things. Thanks, Mom! <laughs> That's exactly what I want to hear when I'm in the middle of space over here. That's... thanks. Very, very helpful in my times of absolute crisis. Alright, go... immediately over there. I'm pretty sure I can hit that one fairly easily. I wish I could, like... can I zoom out while I'm on it? I can't zoom out while I'm, like, riding this thing like this. 
And I wouldn't have minded if that was possible, because it's kind of hard to see what's going on around you. You can't really see the things, like, grow new uh, red flower things to ride on top of while you're riding the thing. And I would have been pretty okay with being able to see that, personally. I would have liked that. There's another gem over there. I knew it! Gotta check out these weirdly misshapen islands, which seem slightly bigger than the other ones. There might be second gems. There might be second gems, indeed.